I am Anil Kumar and we will explore limit of function. Now the idea of this video here is to understand the term that if I write limit of the function f of x is equal to L when x approaches A. What does that mean? So we need to understand the meaning of this particular term. That is limit of a function f of x is equal to L when x approaches A. This is what we are trying to understand. Now to understand this, let me take a piecewise function as an example and then we'll explore it further. So we'll take a interesting piecewise function with three pieces. Let us say the first piece is x minus 1 and that is if x is less than 1 and then let us say we have f of x equals to 1 if x is equal to 1 and let it be a square root function. Let us say square root of x minus 1 plus 2 if x is greater than 1. Let us say we have these three pieces together and in this piecewise function what we will test here is we'll test the limit of this function at x equals to 1. Right. So there are three pieces being joined together so whenever you have a piecewise function, you will expect that to be continuous. All these three functions are continuous. Uh, but at the point where they are joined together, there could be a discontinuity. right? So what we will consider here is what is the limit of this function f of x as x approaches 1 from when I say minus means from left side what is the value of this limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side that means from the right side of this function f of x this is what we're trying to understand if both these limits exist and if they are exactly same then we say that the limit of the function exists at 1 right so in our case a in this particular example is going to be 1 right so that is the case which we are going to consider. So before getting further into its details, let's try to sketch and understand how the function looks like so that it becomes easier for me to explain and for you to understand. Let's try to sketch it. So it is f of x is 1 if x equals to 1. So let me say that, let me make a scale here. So let's say this is 1 for us. So it is equals to 1 at x equals to 1. So at x equals to 1, we have this point, And that is 1. Now if it is less than 1, that means on the left side, then it is a straight line x minus 1. So x minus 1, if I have to draw a line, which is on the left side of this 1, then you know x minus 1 has a y-intercept of minus 1 and slope of 1. So 1, 1, it has to go through this. So I could draw a line which could be, so it is not including this point, right? So, so there's a hole here and with that hole I'm just joining these two points since I know that x minus 1 has y-intercept of minus 1, right? So minus 1 is the y-intercept and if I write x as 1, I'll get a 0 value. So that is the starting point, right? Less than 1. So this is, this is one of those points. Now let us try to sketch the third piece, which is square root of x minus 1 plus 2. Now as you know, the square root function starts from here. It's kind of like this, right? It'll go through one of course. One unit to the right, two up. So if I move one unit to the right, it starts from here. Two up means it actually starts from here, right? So our square root function starts from 2 and it is a square root function. So I'm just sketching like this. Is that okay? So this point for us is the value at 2. So that is kind of a rough sketch, but it gives you a fairly good idea about the piecewise function we are talking. Now, why are we saying this as a piecewise function? Clearly, we have three different pieces tied together to form the function f of x. And as you can see, at each and every point, it passes vertical line test. Even at 1, it has a value. The value is 1, right? So, so what we know here is that f of 
1 is equals to 1, correct? Now what we need to understand from here is, what is the limit of the function when we are approaching 1, when x is approaching, so this is x, right? So when we say x is approaching, it means what? So that is the x-axis and this is f of x. So when we say when x is approaching 1 from the negative side, that means x value is coming closer and closer to 1 from the left side. This is from the left side. So as you approach 1 from the left side, so basically even if you are here at 0, for example, you are on this line. Do you understand? So as you are approaching 1 from the left side, you are approaching a value 0. So this limit here is 0. You get the idea. So when you are approaching from the left side, this is your left side. When we say x is approaching 1 from negative, means left side. So you are approaching a value which is 0. On the other hand, when I say limit of the function f of x, when x is approaching 1 from positive side, that means x is greater than 1. It could be 2, 3, or it could be 1.1. So let us say it is 2. So if x is 2, the value is somewhere here. As you come closer and closer to 1, the value which you are approaching is 2. So this is, this is, we are talking about limit of the function f of x as x is approaching 1 from the positive side. That means right side. Do you understand? Right side of 1. So you approach a value 2. So this value which you approach is 2. Clearly, what we observe here is that the limit of the function f of x when you approach the function from negative side is not equal to limit of the function x when you are approaching it from the positive side right they are not equal they are 0 and 2 respectively right they are not equal and therefore in such case we say that the limit of the function f of x when x is approaching in this case 1 does not exist. So in this particular case, limit of the function does not exist at 1. Since limit from the left side is not equal to the right side. Now let's get back to the definition. It says the limit of a function y equals to f of x as x approaches the value a written as limit as we wrote, limit x approaches a of f of x equals to L exists if and only if the left side limit, limit of the function as x approaches a from minus side equals to L and the right side limit also equals to L. If we get both same values, only then the limit exists. Otherwise, the limit does not exist. So what you can test for yourself in this particular case is find the limit of the function as x approaches 0 for f of x. Now if we consider that, so this is 0 for us, right? So if I am approaching from the left side, then what value I approach? From the left side, I am approaching minus 1. Do you see? I am on this graph. From the left side, I am approaching minus 1. That is 0 from the left side. And if I am approaching 0 from the right side, x value, then also the y value is minus 1. So from both the sides, we are approaching a value of minus 1. So in this case, the limit of the same function exists at 0. It is minus 1. You will find that for this particular function, except for x approaching 1, at all other points in its domain, the limit exists. And the limit is equal to the value of the function. Right. So most of the cases that we are dealing with, you will find that limit will exist, but there will be some point where it may not may not exist. Right? That's kind of important. And if it does not exist, the reason will be that the left side limit is not equal to right side. Let me write this to understand better. This is approaching from the left side and plus means approaching from the right side. I hope this concept is clear.
with the help of this piecewise function. I'll take a couple of more examples with other concrete functions uh, and then let us see if it is clear and I will also provide you with few links. Share with me uh, your suggestions so that we can improve on these videos. Thank you and all the best.